Okay, YouTube, so this is my very first video. I apologize if it comes out poorly or if the audio is off or any of that type of stuff. Um, underneath this uh, mess here is my MacBook Pro. Um, I saw a lot of videos on YouTube about this, and I did go with the Plasti Dip. The underlying color is blue. And then I was going to use the Plasti Dip Orange uh, for the stenciling, but then there was some concern that as we pulled the stencil off, it might actually lift up the... Um, the underlying blue or maybe partially some of the orange as it peeled off so what we wound up using for the orange is just regular paint it's a rasoleum uh, fluorescent orange paint and that's what we used some of the problems I had during this is as I was applying the uh, base coat I wound up putting I think it was three layers altogether but on the second and third layer um, drops would come out instead of a, a smooth mist there were some drops so on the second layer I was able to uh, sand it lightly and that took the drops away but the third layer even though I did my best to clean the spigot on the uh, paint it also uh, left a few drops so I'm not sure what that's gonna look like under this taped it all down and now I'm getting ready for the uh, unreveal and see what it looks like hope it turned out well I'm gonna put this on pause now and start taking it off and I'll show you guys the finished picture so sadly uh, it looks like as the stencil lifted up it lifted up some of the orange parts to it um, that's a bummer I'm gonna go ahead and take off the uh, apple part in the middle right now and I think for right now today I'm not gonna do anything drastic I have to decide if I'm just gonna repaint over the stencil or if there's something else I can do if I have to just take the whole thing off and start all over again. I kind of like the, how the stencil looked on there. It's just a shame it didn't turn out. But the real advantage of this whole, uh, this whole uh, plastic dip stuff uh, that's right here is if you guys have seen in some of the other videos, if it doesn't work it out, it seems like it's pretty easy to take off and start from scratch uh, or at least have your original MacBook Pro back. So I'm going to continue taking off that middle part and I'll show you a picture of that when it's all done. So this is what it looks like with the Apple logo removed. Uh, I'm really bummed about this. You know, I don't feel too bad because like I said, it was just more of a day project. Probably the total cost in um, parts when you count the paint and even the stencils, maybe $25. So that's not bad. Somebody else had put on YouTube that it may not be worth doing it because of how easy the plastic dupe peels off. And I think I might be inclined to agree to that. Um, I don't have the technical skills to do like regular painting on brushed aluminum. I know there's some services out there. I imagine they're pretty expensive. Uh, so I'm going to think about this today and decide whether I will peel off the orange stencil and just repaint the whole thing blue and then maybe try and get some of those uh, white stencils that you see at the mall all the time with different things. Maybe I can put that on there to add a little bit of customization to it. Lay that right over the blue and not add any more paint to it. So there it is, YouTube. That's my attempt at Plasti Dipping my uh, MacBook Pro. I'm not perfect at this by any means. I'm definitely not artistic. And this is my first YouTube uh, video, so feel free to uh, put all the thumbs down. <laughs> <laughs> I think Mark Mark Lee is that his name? Mark Lee is safe, and so is uh, Linus. I think they're both pretty safe right now. Thanks, everyone. Hope you enjoyed it.